Hi there, this is Marlena, and we are going to talk today about the energy in November for Feng Shui 2020. This whole year, we have been focusing on the negative stars, which have been activated, and they stay activated until February. So, we are very much involved in avoiding those areas of the home, Bagua, all right, to the best of our abilities, all right, and placing easy um, cures. <clears throat> so feng shui cures um, that the Chinese recommend are, to me, helpful, um, but sometimes can be a little bit expensive, and then sometimes they'll tell you to throw them away, which I don't believe in. I believe in cleansing them and reusing them. So if you do have feng shui cures um, that you have purchased um, from a feng shui expert, um, then just cleanse them and reuse them. But this month, November, we have in place um, for the whole year, we have negative stars activated in the east, especially, and the south. Um, very powerful. The east and the south have been um, very troublesome areas for this entire year. As we know, the virus came from the east, right? And um, that is the illness star. And so that's still there, all right? in the east and the south has some troublesome stars um the center of the house has the seven star which is the annual star which has brought the negative energy to each and every home in the world so that's why this year has been very stressful for a lot of people and we also been dealing with the star that flew into the north okay area so if you have a front door in the north like i do then we have been working on clearing that energy there constantly because it's been arguments lawsuits trouble okay a lot of breakups a lot of divorces things like that um have been happening and now for this month the um energy is still there. I want you to know that. So the negative energy is still in the east, the south, the center, okay, and the north, all right? So we're going to work on that. You may have to play this again and take notes, which is great to take notes and be ready, all right? Be wise. I have, um, list here that I've written down and um, also my intuition uh, tells me in advance okay which areas to avoid and then I look at the stars and I say oh yeah I was right anyway um, <clears throat> for the center of the home okay for this month all right I'm going to start with the center because it is involving the whole entire space that we're in the same with your office or your workspace it has to do with that as well um so the center of the home has a seven star okay which is a negative star all right and for this month the eight star flies in <clears throat> which is basically a positive star which brings prosperity so you have two stars that are in conflict with each other basically and we do not want to disturb the seven star okay um the eight star if you have a cleansed center of your house okay where it is clean um you know no clutter there throughout each room in your home in the center okay so the center of the house overall has a seven and eight star, which are conflicting each other, basically. 
Um, so if you have enhancers there, you know, um, and you find that there is negative energy still happening in your home, then I would see what those enhancers are. So if you have crystal there um, and it's big, I would remove it, okay? Because crystal actually, um, you know, draws energy to it where it um, increases that energy. So if you have trouble in your home where you're feeling sick, um, fighting, arguments, things like that, we want to remove anything that would activate it, okay? Um, do not use any metal in the center. Do not put fire, okay? So I say the best bet is, is to open that area and just, you know, have it open wide with nothing there would be the best. Um, if you have a bedroom there um, or a bathroom, you know, something like that, the bedroom, if you have to sleep in the center, I would actually move out of that area to a better area, which would probably be the northwest, okay, um, for this month. All right, so the center, we want to keep it clean, clutter-free, no fire, no metal in that area, okay, for this month here. All right, now for the west, all right, the west end of your home and every room, okay? So we are talking about the west end of your home and every single room, the west, all right? That's what I do, all right? Because each room has all these sections in it, all right? And in my house, I have three sections to my home. So it is very um, important that I know what I'm talking about. Because most houses, you lay the Bagua map down, right? And everything lines up. You may have a missing area, and we can cure that as well. Um, but in this home, I have three sections. So I have two centers in my home, okay? And it is wild in here. So I really have to know what I'm doing and know what I'm talking about when it comes to the energy of my space to keep it, you know, positive flow here, all right? And I notice when the vibration shifts, okay? Um, let's see here. So for the West, um, we have a good energy there at this moment, okay? Um, and then what happens with the West, okay? It brings in a um, victory star, okay? So it's a good spot to work in, okay? Um, it's a good spot for um, metal cures and the six coins, which I did not buy six coins, Chinese coins with the red string. You might have, but I take six shiny coins and utilize those and I, you know, put them in a straight line. And so in the West, um, I have two areas in my home, like I say, that are west. So, um, I activate both of them. I am working in the west right now to um, better my business. So, it is a great spot to work in. Um, placing metal cures, six coins, okay? No fire and no candles there, okay? Um, definitely not. Do not put any fire energy elements or candles. <clears throat> if you have them, remove them, okay? So metal cures are white, silver, and round, okay? So <clears throat> you can use um, white carpet, white pillows, um, you know, uh, vases, you know, that are white or silver, all right? Very beautiful energy. 
uh, round items, which could be uh, metal, you know, a metal dog dish works, a metal weight, you know, anything round that is of the metal energy. So that's what we're talking about here. And it could be a white round bowl as well. I just want you to know that, or a silver one. Um, so white is great, silver is great, right? Um, and round, so that's the energy that we're talking about for metal, all right? So you can enhance that very easily and inexpensively, right? And that's what I do here. I help people to stay on a you know, budget, basically, so you're not using all your money to just feng shui your property, okay? You are going to clean it and declutter it, of course, and make it look nicer and feel fresh in there, letting in some sunshine, okay? We are going to also experience some really good energy this month in the Northwest, which is the space um, for the male of the home, okay? So, basically, if you are a couple, um, then that energy over in that northwest section is going to be great for the male, okay? So that's the male's corner over there. If the male is not there and it's just a female energy, that energy will be for the breadwinner of the property. Okay? So that's what we're going to enhance now. So it's a um, good place to set up money enhancers. Knowing that the Northwest is of the metal energy, as it is, okay. Um, the colors, of course, are silver, gold, okay, um, white, very important in that area, all right. Metal energy is to balance it. So, for this month, we can bring in um, some candles. Some a little bit of fire energy to enhance the good energy star that flies in for this month. So very simple. You can place um, candles. You can place twinkle lights. Um, you know, something of the fire energy, which could be a pyramid, a triangle, um, fire energy, a little bit of red, okay, a little bit of uh, orange or purple. Those colors are fire energy, all right? So to enhance that corner, the Northwest, um, great for sleeping, great for working, uh, great for um, actually doing business endeavors there. So in the Northwest for this month, all right, um, we are going to utilize that area a lot Okay, that's one of the areas that you want to spend a lot of time in so that the energy can actually, you know, form an energy around you, all right? And that's what we're doing. Feng Shui is not just for your home. It is your energy, your overall energy, where you spend the most time in that energy is what you're vibrating at. So that's where we want to spend the most time, in the West and the north west okay so those two areas are the best the center if you have an office there you know you may have a little bit of issues all right so i would like do a little bit of your work out of that area and into the west and the northwest this month of november so there's a couple tips for you uh if you are doing any um, portfolios, um, any kind of money dealings, you would love to sit in that area and deal with that, all right? So that will help you a lot in that area. Now, we're going to work on what is actually happening here, okay? So usually the 
southeast of the home, okay, is our money corner, okay? Um, <clears throat> for me, myself, because of my KUA number, um, it is actually not an area for me to activate, which sounds strange, okay? But it is the water energy element back there in the southeast corner of the home and every room, okay? <clears throat> right now, in the month of um, November, we are having the um, seven star fly in, which is a robbery star, okay? The sixth annual star is there, okay, which is good bringing in money for investments in the stock market. And then in November, we have a robbery star coming in. So I want you to be aware of that. So that's two energies working against each other in the money corner. So <clears throat> for that corner, remove all fire energy, okay? Um, no metal is needed there, okay? No red, no fire, no um, pointed objects, uh, no sharp knives, okay, things like that, um, no candles, right, no lighting, really, okay, so keep it quiet there, um, the thing to use is, uh, salt water cure, a, maybe, uh, blue, okay, blue, um, pillow, carpeting, curtain, something like that, if you, have that area, okay, southeast. If you have a door there, okay, if your entrance or exit to your home has a door there, um, and you don't have to use it, it would be great not to. Do not slam the door. Do not do any construction work there, okay? Do not sleep there if possible, all right? Um, there are certain areas which I would move out of. You know, because of the robbery star, okay, I, um, you know, don't want it around me, basically. So, uh, add salt water cure there, um, no fire, and no metal, all right? So, usually the color for that area is red, okay, and fire energy. Um, but we're going to remove that. So, remove all candles. Um, you know, keep it a little bit dark there and quiet at all times if possible for you. Um, do not have a lot of loud noise and things like that. We don't want to activate the robbery star. Do not dig up the land. Do not bang around. Uh, no metal objects sticking out such as sharp knives and things like that. All right. Um, the next area we're going to go to is the south, which, as I said, is one of those areas this year with the uh, illness star is there and there is an argument star. And so this month is very serious to keep it quiet. Um, in the south, which is usually your fame and fortune area, which we would usually have fire energy there. We are removing all fire, okay? So, do not have candles or salt lamps, um, red items, um, pyramids, um, pointed objects, you know, no cactus. You don't want any cactus in your life at all. Um, sharp things, we don't want that. The cure here would be metal and salt water, okay? We want to be careful of arguments, be careful of signing documents, okay? There could be a loss of wealth, okay? So what we want to do is we want to cure it by keeping it calm and quiet, no, you know, digging up the land or banging around. Um, we can change that for another date. Uh, metal and salt water cure. Salt water is very simple. Get some water in a ceramic bowl and put some salt in that water, okay? And then change it once a week 
And do not dump it down your drains. Okay, you want to dump it outside in the garbage bag and let it go and then redo it again. All right? So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to keep it quiet. All right? If you are having to sign any documents, um, make sure you check it over and read it thoroughly. Okay? Be careful of arguments. Um, yeah. Also, I was seeing a... Um, Wow, like a bad energy in that area again. Um, so it could be loss. So I would get out of that area if you have a bedroom in the south. If you're sick, if you're weak, um, if you're elderly, I would come out of that area. All right. Do not sleep in the south section of your home um, at all cost. All right, move your mattress off the bed if you have to, whatever it takes. Um, if you need help doing that, get somebody, a neighbor. Just say, could you move this mattress to the northwest of my home? All right, so that you can get healthy again. You can get strong again. Um, you know, we don't want to um, aggravate and activate any of this stuff, okay? Um, definitely loss by, you know, grief, all right? That's all I'm going to say for the South, all right? And last month we dealt with two areas that had that. And we did experience a loss in our, you know, kind of our family relation, um, which was sad, very young. Um, you know, so... We are um, really dealing with this stuff seriously here. This is not fun. This is not games, okay? Um, I am a happy person, but I'm very serious when I do what I'm doing. Uh, so the south is an area to keep quiet as well. Your southeast, all right? Now we're going to go to the southwest, which is your love corner, your romance corner, the corner for the lady of the home. All right, where I would usually be drawn to in my home. All right, so this month, all right, it has a um, negative star coming in. Uh, so we want to use metal cures. All right, keep it quiet. No fire, no candles in that area at all. If your um, area is the southwest where you are um, drawn to because of being the female of the home or that's what your best area is okay don't spend a lot of time in there um, as much as you usually do um, activate it with metal all right round items beautiful uh, they could be um, silver, silver vases, silver pots, beautiful energy will come there. All right, so um, definitely metal in that area. Keep it quiet as possible. Uh, spend less time in that area. Um, I know I'm speaking to somebody specifically here, uh, including myself, all right? So we want to deal with this thing seriously, all right? Because we have a four or five combo. And the five is, you know, basically a negative star, which flies in now. And the five has been, you know, activating out there in the south section of the home. So you can see that energy there that's coming in, all right? So the whole back part of the home this month is going to be afflicted, all right, um, <clears throat> being the south being the worst, and then the southeast, the money corner, and then the southwest, the love corner, so we want to keep it quiet as possible, um, because we could have arguments, right, we could have accidents, um, which could be you trip over something in your house, you know, um, things like that, so we want to uh, avoid those areas as much as possible, all right? 
if you sleep in one of those areas, make sure that you have the cures in place. Um, and I, myself, okay, am very cautious of my intuition. So if your intuition guides you not to do something, you know, listen to it this month, okay? Very seriously, listen to your gut feeling, okay? Um, pay attention to your dreams, all right? Because sometimes the dreams are showing you things or trying to reveal some emotional baggage that you might have that you want to clear. And we can work on clearing together, too. You just contact me, okay? Um, so the East... Um, is a section where we want to keep quiet, no fire, okay? You can use metal cures there. Um, you can take six coins in a row in the east, okay? Um, bedroom, no plants, all right? I want you to know that if your bedroom should not have any plants, no exercise equipment, no computers going, no cell phones and all that stuff plugged in. The bedrooms are a place for rest, and rejuvenation and for romance right so we want to enhance the romance in our lives as well so for the East it's been very difficult this year we've seen the virus kick in and a lot of people lost their lives um, so um, they might not have known about what to do okay or how to at least you know, boost up the energy in the house. So in the east, please keep it quiet. Don't dig up the land. Don't bang around. If you have a door there um, in the east this month, um, it's okay. Just don't bang it. Uh, it brings in a positive star in the east, which, you know, is supposed to bring in some finances, but also at the same time you have an illness star there. So we're working with opposite energy, you know. Um, so we want to be very cautious about that. We have a, a lucky star coming into the east, all right. <clears throat> but at the same time, you have a illness star. So we got to work with both of these at the same time and cure the energy, you know, the negative star energy with metal objects, all right. So take care of that. That's very serious. You want to take care of the east, the south, the center, the north, okay? The south, um, east, and you want to take care of your overall energy in your home, okay? Uh, the south, east, south, southwest, that whole back energy of the home the bagua map it may be the front of your home wherever you know whatever your house is facing um or side you know which ha it's the back of mine it may be the front of yours it may be one of your sides of your home depending on what direction your home is facing so you want to learn that um definitely and where your entrances and exits are okay very important for all of us all right so, let's see. Um, let's go with the north now. The north has a 3-4 combo, which is two wood stars. Okay, so we really don't need to activate them. All right? Um, that is a water energy. All right, and um, for this month, again, it's arguments. Okay, so what we can do in the north is... You can place um, photos of your family or your spouse, you know, your lover, whatever. Um, and then you might want to place your dream board or your vision board there. Okay. Um, that would be the place to do that for this month. Okay. So <clears throat> family photos are great. Happy family photos. Um you know, your dream board, your vision board, you and your spouse, you and your, um, you know, lover or whatever, okay, that can go there. That's a great spot to activate for this month in the north, okay? Keep it clean, 
clutter free. Um, we don't need to slam the doors or any of that stuff. You don't need to act, activate it with anything right now, okay? Um, let's go with the uh, northeast, okay? Is another area this month which has um, <clears throat> two stars coming in, basically, <clears throat> which are, you know, opposite of each other. Okay, so the northeast, we want to add metal objects to stop the arguments and illness. Okay, <clears throat> so the northeast, okay, has an illness star and um, argument star. Okay, so as you can see in the north, we have arguments, right? So it could be lawsuits, you know, disagreements, things like that coming in. And then in the northeast, you have arguments and illness. You see what I mean here? Okay, so that end of the house, the north and the northeast, okay, um, we want to keep quiet, right? So if your bedroom is in the northeast, move out of it. All right, best thing to do is spend less time there. All right, if that is your bedroom, it's the only place you can sleep, um, the only area you have available. Well, make sure that you have metal um, cures in there. All right, uh, do not add any fire, okay, because we don't want to add fire to you know, wake that energy up, right? Mm -hmm. So let's um, all do our part here this month to balance our own personal feng shui and directions, all right? And bring in the cures. For this year, we have had the metal rat. So we are using a lot of metal cures and, you know, some salt water cures where they're necessary, all right? So southeast um your money corner in your house you know um go around to that corner and add some salt water cure okay um you can add some water element which is a blue item okay a blue item could be a blue towel a cloth all right you know something like that a rug whatever Okay, a little blue pillow, um, something easy, something simple, which just calms it down. Okay, um, if you have any questions, please contact me. The information is underneath this video. I just wanted to bring this forth for this month. Uh, usually I do it on my live talk shows, um, but many people have not been, you know, on the live calls. So, some of you are just coming in, you're brand new to this channel. This video might have drawn you in. I want to welcome you here. I am Marlena, and um, some call me Magical Marlena, and that's fine. Um, <clears throat> I don't work with any, you know, magic, per se. I don't need it. <clears throat> I work with the angels. I work with um, my intuition, my giftings, okay? Um, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Um, like I said, if you have any questions or concerns about your home, if you're missing an area in your space and you want to um, contact me and we'll discuss how to activate that space that's kind of not there but really is, um, I'll show you what to do uh, easily and freely. Um, also, I would love to have you on my live calls. I am having one on the 11th at 3 p.m. with Alara Canfield. I'm having one on the 12th at 7 p.m. Uh, on the Awakening Heart Network. Um, you can easily contact me by email and get that information. You can go underneath the video, get that information. Also, I want to send you some beautiful healing energy right now for your mind to clear up because sometimes when we talk about this it brings up fear so we want to clear any and all fear that may have come up during this video for you 
Ah, let's bring you peace and balance right now. And someone watching this video, we want to work on your self-worth. And some abundance issues for you. So contact me, whoever you are. See, um, I'm gifted in the area, so I know um, what's coming in. All right, what the energy drawing out of you is right now. Um, if you are moving into a new home, contact me because I will help you to balance the energy in that house. But first of all, we want to clear it. Even if it's a brand new home, we want to bring in some beautiful energy, uh, yin and yang energy to clear it, clear out all the energy the emotions from even building it and what was on the land before that. We want to clear that energy and balance that for you. And so your space will be a beautiful, energized, um, positive, flowing, freely, beautiful, abundant space that you can live in, in what I want to call the life of love and luxury. All right. We all deserve that, right? And the next year, we're going to have the year of the ox. Just think about the ox and the animal of the ox. When I think about the ox, I think about a big, you know, animal, like this oversized energy. So that's what I'm feeling for next year. I'm feeling like working, um, like trying to double, almost double work. So we want, we're going to work on that so we don't overwork next year trying to catch up or whatever. Um, just <clears throat> right now we want to balance out this, um, what I call an evil rat energy. I, I don't like rats myself. And as we've seen, a rat, you know, energy for this year, the metal rat, has really caused a lot of damage, all right? Rats are in the garbage. They're disgusting. They're dirty. They're varmints. They, they're greedy, selfish. Um, they fight. Um, they bring illness and disease, right? And that's what we have seen in this energy. So I'm really, you know, um, into feng shui and not just, you know, the Bagua, right? The Bagua is one thing, but I'm talking about the entire vibration of you and me and our space, all right? And even your workspace and feng shui in your car as well. So if your car, you have junk in your trunk, all right, open the trunk and pull everything out, vacuum it, all right, spray it, make it smell good. And clean that out and then go into the back seat, all right, and clean it out and then go to the front seat and clean it out. Clean out those little spaces in the car. Um, if you have an ashtray, clean it out of all the change and junk you got in there. Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Dust it, um, shine it up, clean the windows, you know, wash the car. Uh, think about the car as energy, all right? The car is your vehicle. The car moves forward, right? Um, it keeps you going. So, funk sway that car of yours this week, all right? Pick a day and, you know, go to town on the car. You, you're always thinking about other stuff, but the car, all right? The car is the energy that brings you forward in life, all right? Think about that. That's an energy of feng shui for you to think about right now. Um, yeah, so golden coins, um, you know, energy of golden coins is what I'm going to leave you with right now. Think about um, good luck, shamrocks, golden coins, um, a golden joyful experience for you from this moment on. Thank you so much for spending the past uh, 40 minutes or so with me. I am happy and grateful for everything and everyone and you are special. You're important to me and that's why I'm just giving you this 40 minute feng shui message for November 2020. Thank you so much for joining me here. It's my pleasure to be of service to you. Thank you, thank you,
you and thank you again.